there was a while after we broke up where I told him, I don't wanna stop talking. Even though I'm like really upset at you right now, I don't wanna have to lose a friend and a boyfriend all at once. I didn't see him for like a month, so we also didn't have sex for a while. And I was like, when he comes back, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna like, am I gonna sleep with him? Am I gonna wanna be friends with him or talk to him again or get back with him? I didn't know what the fuck I was gonna do when I saw him. I didn't want it to be goodbye. I wanted to keep talking to him because I missed him as a person and I missed all the dirty, dirty things we did. I think there's a certain sad sultriness that the song has that is really nice for girls or guys who are coming out of a, of a relationship and they weren't necessarily finished with the person they were seeing. They still kind of miss them, but they're also on the like, ooh, I kind of have this little bit of freedom now and I'm riding with it and I feel good, but I'm also kind of sad. I think that's like the best emotion to feel when you're going through a breakup. It's like the weirdest time, but it's also kind of fun. Um, and I think the song really brings that out. So I want people to feel that and be able to sing along to it and kind of like sexy dance to it a little bit. We went from 2 a.m. calls to zero communication, yeah. We spent too long in heaven, yeah. We felt the elevation. I will rush into something with somebody and just go hard, go ham. Like, we'll be hanging out every single day, never leave each other's side for like two weeks or longer. That can get in the way of a long-term relationship because you can get tired of people a lot easier when you make yourself so available. Just cause it's different and we're not the same Does not mean things have to change? I was addicted to the person. I wanted to keep talking to them the same way I wanted to talk to them and see them casually. <laughs> I got no trouble with my pride. Got trouble cutting ties. I am very loyal and very trusting and very giving. Once somebody fucks that up, enough for me to be upset about it, then I will cut them off. If they do little things here and there or we just don't meet halfway on something, I can forgive that. I'm trying to find the balance. But it is getting better. I don't wanna be your ex. We're way too good at being friends. When I met my ex, it was the first time where I kind of gave myself a little leeway to be like be a kid and have fun and not take things too seriously. And I fell in love with that part of myself. When you experience such huge milestones, you kind of picture that person in every single event, big event in your life. And I didn't want to give that up. Can we still hang out on the low gateway? My ex was the first person I had sex with and it was a very special moment for me and I didn't want to have sex with anybody else. And I was kind of scared to have sex with anybody else because I had only experienced that person. So when we broke up, I was like, well, I like sex. Can we still have sex? Is that normal? Is that cool? Am I gonna feel weird? I didn't end up doing that, but I was thinking about it for sure. <laughs> I don't wanna be a, I don't wanna be a, hit your girl up with a text. When you're alone and feeling stressed. When I was single, I was totally cool with being a booty call. Sexual freedom and equality. Like, I was like, yeah, I need some too. I don't gotta be in love with you to love you. Ooh, ooh. I don't wanna be a, so don't treat me like you. We had just grown apart and that happens, but I was used to him. So I wanted to maybe try and Give it another shot physically. <laughs> Almost having like FOMO in a weird way. Like you're like, I don't want you to go on doing these big great things and have all these cool experiences and be happy without me. That's like such a stab to the heart. Let's give the awkward run-ins or pretend it like we're strangers. Oh my God, I just had an awkward run-in that happened for a reason, that's so funny. I was at a party, a pool party, and he just walked in and I just saw his face and I went, oh, no. I think I just got freaked out because it literally never happens. And you're like, do you, do I say something? Like, do I go say hi? Do I go say like, how's your family? Do I, <laughs> what do I do? Do I check up on them or do I just like stay away? And get back to how we started. Hey, don't pour water on fire. I probably would have spoken up more. 
I think there were a lot of things that I didn't say that bothered me. Don't act like I don't care for you Cause you know I'll always be there for you uh. I'm always gonna be there for the people that I've loved If they ever, I might not talk to them every day And I might have issues with them or whatever But if they are going through something and struggling through something I'm gonna be there for them because that's just the person that I am